So, you're hyped to ride your electric scooter, right? You plug the bad boy in overnight, wake up ready to roll and boom! Check the lights green, but the scooter's dead. Oh man, heartbroken, dreams shattered, but hold up, don't panic. Don't call your cousin's friend who once fixed the toaster. We're gonna fix this one right away. Look at this. Green light smiling in my face. Yeah, bro, I'm working. But my scooter's dead. That's betrayal at its finest. First rule, use the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Start fresh. Scooter's off, charger unplug. Inspect the charger cable like it owes you some money. Look for cuts, scrapes, or spots where you got squished under the scooter. If the wire looks like it for a pair pole, that might be the problem, bro. Now, check the charging port on the scooter. Dirt, dust, and wear can mess with the connection. A loose or bent port? No juice. Let's do a power check. Plug your charger into the wall. Make sure that socket switch is on. Trust me, we've all embarrassed ourselves with that one. The charger light should be green at this point. Pro tip. If you got a multimeter, aka the superhero gadget of the scooter life, use it. Set it to 200 volts. Black probe on the outside of the charger jack. Red probe inside, bro. Read the numbers on the multimeter display. The charger for a 24 volt scooter, about 29 volts. 36 volt scooter, about 31 to 42 volts. The charger for a 48 volt scooter should show about 52 to 54 volts. And for a 52 volt scooter, my guy, about 58.8. That 72 volt monster scooter or e bike needs about 84 to 88 volts to fully charge that monster lithium battery. If your numbers don't match your charger's sauce, bro, time for a new one. Now, plug and pray. Okay. Now connect the charger to your scooter or e-bike for that fact. Normally, the green light should flip to red. Charging! If it stays green, maybe your battery's already full. But let's be real, that ain't why you're here, bro. More likely, your charging port is dirty, bent, or loose. Try this trick. Wiggle the charger jack gently. Gently, bro. Don't just like go crazy while watching for the light on the charger. If it flickers red, your port is loose. You can hold it in the sweet spot for now. Don't let your dog trip over the cord. But the real fix is replacing the charging port. Now, deep dive if you're brave. If it never goes red, no matter how much you wiggle that thing. It might be the wires inside. Grab a screwdriver, Pop the bottom panel off, lefty, loosey on the screws, and you know them ones. And look for the red and black wires leading from the charging port to the battery. Bent smell? Melted wires? Yeah, that's bad. Repair or replace them, bro. Battery reality check. Time to test the battery itself with the multimeter. Disconnect the main connector. Black probe on the black wire. Red probe? on the red wire, kinda like preschool. Compare the voltage. 24 volt battery should always be above 20 volt. A 36 volt battery, definitely above 30 volt. 48 volt battery should never go below 39 volts. A 52 volt battery, make sure it's above 42 volts. A 60 volt battery should be above 48 volts. And that 72 volt battery should always stay above 60 volts. If your numbers are lower, the BMS, which is the battery management system, probably shut the battery down, bro. That's like your scooter's brain like, nah, this is too risky. You'll need a new battery, my guy, unless you know how to wake it up safely. The advanced stuff. But the quick hack, one last move before we even give up, yeah? Keep charger plugged into the scooter. I wish you luck on this one, bro. Turn off the wall switch. Wait 10 seconds, turn the wall switch back on, power up the scooter. Sometimes this wakes the battery up and makes the charger flip red. If it stays red, 
Let it charge. Don't say a word, bro. If it goes green again, yeah, time to shop for a new one. Pro tips to avoid this mess again. Don't drain your battery all the way. Recharge before it hits zero. Keep your ports clean and dry. Invest in a decent multimeter. That's like having x-ray vision for your electronics. So there you go, fam. Next time your e-scooter charger plays with you that forever green light, you'll know exactly how to handle it. Save money, ride safe, and stay powered up. Rasta.